If you've finished your manuscript, you must be so excited to get it formatted and ready to publish. Atticus makes this super easy, and whether you've written your book in Atticus itself or imported a manuscript from Word or Google Docs, we'll go through all the main formatting and layout features in this tutorial. So let's jump right in. When you first open a book in Atticus, you'll notice that every book has a front matter section separated from the body section. New books will begin with an automatically generated title page, copyright page, and table of contents, and you can add additional pages as your book requires. Atticus auto-generates a title page using the information you set in the book details, but if you don't like the basic design, you can delete this version and create one of your own using the convert to full page image option. You'll also find a copyright page template in the front matter. If you have your own, you can delete the text that is included and insert your preferred details. If you click the three dots beside the add chapter button, you can even choose alternate versions of this template to suit your specific needs. Finally, Atticus auto generates a table of contents or TOC that will update as you add, move, or change any of the content and formatting of your book. The TOC is one page you can't delete. It's necessary and specifically formatted to meet ebook publishing criteria. If you click the three dots beside the title in the left navigation panel, you can choose to include in none, which will remove the page itself from the content of your book, but that navigational TOC will always export in the digital EPUB version of your book, which is mandatory. Just as a note, Atticus cannot support internal links that have been programmed in outside programs, including Word. So it's always best if you delete the TOC from your source document before importing it. Many books include additional pages in their front matter, such as blurbs, a dedication page, maybe an epigraph or a prologue. If you click the three dots beside the Add Chapter button, Atticus has a variety of presets that come with special formatting that you can further adjust using the chapter formatting settings available for each page. We've provided a brief description of how the page type is normally used and formatted with each preset for your convenience. You'll want to remove this placeholder text before adding your own content. We also have an entire tutorial dedicated to preset layouts for front and back matter pages that you can check out after this one. If you've imported front matter pages with your content and you find it in the body section, you can just drag and drop it into the front matter wherever you'd like it to appear in your book. There may be some situations in which a certain page type is perfect for the ebook version of your book, but you don't want to include it in the PDF copy going to print or vice versa. If you click the three dots beside any page in either your front or back matter, you can choose to include in all ebook only, print only, or none. Industry standards require the standard pagination of your book to begin with the first page in the body section. For this reason, Atticus will number all the pages in your front matter using Roman numerals if they appear after the table of contents. Any pages that appear before the TOC won't have any pagination at all. The body section of your book will include all your standard chapters and pages, as well as the back matter. If you're importing your book into Atticus, you'll first want to reference our tutorial to help you prepare your manuscript in order to make the process as efficient as possible that will be linked down below in the description. Once imported into Atticus, or if you're writing your book in the program, you can add or adjust chapters and scenes as needed. To add a new chapter, click the Add Chapter button at the bottom of the left navigation pane. You can drag and drop chapters and Atticus will automatically adjust the numbering sequence for you. If you'd like to add a scene within a chapter, place your cursor where you'd like the scene break to occur and click the asterisk icon from the toolbar. If you are importing a manuscript to create a scene break in your docx file before you import it, use three asterisks in a row with no other formatting or styling applied. Atticus will automatically convert this to a scene break when you bring it into the program. If you look to the left navigation panel, any chapter that includes a scene break will have a little arrow when you hover over the title. 
click the title of the chapter to open the scenes. The first section will automatically become scene one and all subsequent scenes will be named accordingly and adjust automatically if you move them around. The scene titles will not export or show in your book in any way. It's for your reference only. If you'd like your scene to have a title, consider adding a subheading to the body section in the scene itself. If you're clicked on the main chapter title, you can work on the chapter as a whole. If you click on one of the scenes, you can work on just that scene. You can also drag and drop scenes within a chapter or even elsewhere in your book. To remove a scene, you can remove the scene break by clicking the trash can icon to the top right of the placeholder image in the main chapter writing section. This will combine the scene with the previous portion of the chapter. It will not delete the content itself. If you would like to start a new page within the same chapter, perhaps after a scene ends or after you've inserted an image, you can use the page break feature from the writing toolbar. This will not start a new chapter, but it will start the next piece of content at the top of a fresh page in your print book. This will be honored in eBooks where the reader is set to flip pages, but it will be ignored in eBooks that scroll through the pages without any interruptions or breaks. Because it's a page within a chapter, it will have the header and footer included on the next page. If you decide you'd like to split a chapter into multiple chapters rather than scenes, place your cursor in front of the sentence you want to be the first sentence in the next chapter, and then click the split chapter icon from the toolbar. If you decide you need to combine chapters, you can click the three dots beside the first chapter title in the left navigation pane and choose merge with next chapter. This will bring the following chapter into the end of this first chapter. The chapter title of the second merge chapter will be converted into a subheading automatically, which you'll likely want to update. If you click the three dots beside the add chapter button at the bottom of the left navigation pane, you'll see full page image as an option. These will insert between any page or chapter within your book, and it can be set to show your image with full bleed. If your book uses parts, you can create them in Atticus very easily. With your book open in the left navigation pane, right click on the title of the first chapter or page you want to be included in the first part. Choose create part. Atticus will create a new part with the chapter selected nested within it. You can set a part title and subtitle as you'd like. You can then scroll down the navigation panel and repeat with the rest of the parts. Once you have all your parts set up, you can drag and drop any remaining chapters into their respective parts. If you decide you no longer want a part in your book, you can click the X next to the part title in the left navigation panel. Atticus will ask if you want to keep children or delete children. Children is formatting jargon for the chapters within that part. If you'd like to delete all the pages and chapters currently nested in that part and you want to get rid of the content, choose Delete Children. If you want to keep the content, be very careful to choose Keep Children and Atticus will place them back in the normal organization of your book. If you're creating a box set, anthology, or any type of publication that requires you to separate the content into multiple volumes within a single book, you can do so using the volumes feature in Atticus. This was primarily designed to make the creation of box sets as easy as possible. And Atticus allows you to combine multiple books within your account into one single publish ready file. From your home dashboard, you can click create a new box set. From the list of books provided, choose which books you'd like to include in your new box set. You can click in the order you want them to appear in your book and Atticus will number this order for you so that you can see it. Press next and then enter the details for your box set. All your books will be imported into the body section, but each of them will have their own front matter as well as a front matter section for the book as a whole. If you happen to have imported in the incorrect order, you can drag and drop the entire volume as well as each page or chapter within each volume. You can also add back matter outside the volumes by adding new pages to the end of your left navigation panel 
or dragging and dropping pages out of a volume and into the bottom of the navigation panel. If you've written your manuscript in Word or Google Docs and haven't yet formatted any of the volumes in Atticus, you can also combine them into a single docx file and upload it as a new book in Atticus, and then separate the volumes from within the program. You'll want to follow the same guidelines for preparing your manuscript for importing as with a single book. From your Atticus dashboard, click Upload, find the file with your box set, and fill in the details as usual. Again, Atticus will import all the content into the body section. If you've imported front matter pages designed to be in the front matter of the entire box set, you can move those into place first. Next, you can find the first chapter or book title of the first book and click it. Scroll down the left navigation panel to find the last chapter or page in the first book. Press and hold the shift button as you click that page. This should highlight all the chapters in the first book. You can then right click on the first highlighted page or chapter and choose create a volume. Atticus will create a separate front matter section for this book. You can click where it says volume to fill in the volume details and move or remove any front matter pages as needed. You can then repeat for all the remaining books in your box set. Once your manuscript is in Atticus with all your chapters, scenes, parts, and volumes properly separated, you'll want to start adding your chapter and page level formatting settings. Click formatting from the top center and choose a theme from the options. You can either create a new theme or customize one of the Atticus preset themes. We have a separate tutorial that walks you through all the different options available to create your custom theme, which will be linked in the description box below. Once you have a theme set, you can adjust the settings of individual chapters and pages further in the writing editor. And to the right of the chapter title, you'll see a gear icon, which will open the chapter options menu. And here you can set additional preferences for this individual chapter. For print versions of your book, you may want each chapter to begin on a certain side of your book. To set this, you can click the three dots beside the title body, and choose begin on either side, right side, or left side. If you only want certain pages to begin on specific, click the three dots beside each individual page or chapter title. If your book doesn't use numbered chapters, you can choose to remove the numbering from the entire book by clicking the three dots beside the title body and unchecking numbered. Again, you can also remove the numbering from specific chapters by clicking the three dots beside those individual chapter or page titles and unchecking numbered there. This will interrupt the number sequence, but ensure that the rest of your chapters remain in proper order. If you later decide you do want it numbered, clicking numbered again will reset the numbering automatically. Atticus offers further content stylization options similar to standard word processing programs. You can also add advanced features such as images within your content, call out boxes, text messaging, formatting, and social profile links. There are so many options, we cover them in their own tutorial, guiding you through text and paragraph styling options in Atticus, which will also be linked below. Once you have your chapters laid out and designed as you like them, you can now add back matter. Just as you added the front matter, you can click the three dots beside the add chapter button at the bottom of your left panel and choose the type of back matter you'd like to develop. If you have any pages that you plan on reusing in multiple books, such as an also buy page, you can create a master page to be saved within Atticus and used across your account. Now that you have the layout locked down for your book, you're going to want to check out this tutorial over here to set your own custom theme for your book, and then you'll be ready to publish. I'm so excited for you. I hope you're having a great time getting your book published ready.